Pablo Picasso. Many know his name and what he's known for, but many don't know the purpose behind his masterpieces. In this episode, we look at the genius behind the Spanish man and how his art made the viewer realize their corruption of their world and prompting them to take action to benefit their society. Some called him a genius, a revolutionary, while some called him a lunatic, a maniac. Some didn't even know what he was, but they all knew he was Pablo Picasso. Picasso was born in the city of Malaga in Spain, and at a young age he was destined to be a great artist. His first words were piz piz, short for lapis, which is pencil in Spanish. At the age of nine, he drew El Picador, and he would go on to many different periods in his lifetime, such as the Blue Period, the Rose Period, Cubism, African Influence Period, Surrealism. But most of all, his greatest work of art would be Granite. It was a peaceful day in Guernica when suddenly... Despair. Terror. Horror. These are the feelings portrayed by Picasso in Guernica. The torment of war has not only shown emotionally, but physically. Picasso uses the, the contortions of the bodies to portray the death and agony of the characters as a result of the war in Guernica. The way the bodies are laid out shows the full power of the bombs and its effect on the people as explained by Russell Martin in Picasso's War. Both human victims and animals appear to leap from the surface. Due to the impact of the bomb, the victims in the painting look as if they are flying out of the painting. Through this, Picasso pulls the viewer in, allowing them to experience the torment of war. Picasso uses these contortions to symbolize the broken infrastructure of the city in Guernica, which shows a correlation between the condition of a city and a person's emotion. Construction of the infrastructure of a city depletes a citizen's hope and honor for their city, ultimately diminishing the social stability of the country. The Demoiselle de Avignon, a masterpiece, but a message hidden that discomforts the viewer. Originally titled The Brothel of Avignon, the painting shows five prostitutes of a brothel. Picasso would go through different sketches before coming to one of the greatest paintings he would ever paint. Although the woman in Les Desmoiselles de Avignon are all light skinned, critics often differentiate the two with African looking masks as distinctly ugly, bestial, and dirty or contagion ridden. People who obtain the bias that a specifically colored person will be less intelligent than the rest of the people will cause society to outcast them. The pariah state of the Africans is a sorrowful state to see by the viewers, which Picasso uses to fuel his message that society is corrupt. These masterpieces by Picasso show the corruption of society, and Picasso wants the viewer to feel the pity towards lower people in society. Painted during the Rose Period, the boy with a pipe has blue clothing, which brings out a negative tone to the painting, but Picasso's use of warm colors in the background with flowers brings about a peaceful state to the boy. The blue represents the appearance that is shown to other people as negative and cold, with his pipe in his mouth and his bored face. This sorrowful tone has an immediate effect on the viewer, as the viewer is overcome by a sense of pity for the boy. The warm colors in the background represent the boy's inner feelings and thoughts, with the flower crown on his head and the flower wings that symbolize a state of freedom to the boy. The picture of a boy with a pipe is not common. It is in fact wrong. This picture brings out a disturbing feeling to the viewer, because although the boy seems to be free, the use of smoking is the only way he can be free. 
Mikasa wants the viewer to take gratitude because they don't have to understand the pain this boy is going through. Starting from left to right, the bowl states 1 through 11. Many think that the bowl states should be going the opposite way, but Picasso wanted to focus on the basic form to convince the viewer that appearance is deceptive and flawed, persuading people to not succumb to the defects of society and respond in a positive manner to help the suffering people in society. Picasso shows the simplicity and nature of the animals through a series of drawings as he uses simple yet detailed pencil sketches. Art is the elimination of the unnecessary. Starting from the third state, the bowl becomes simplified, with lines put in to highlight the different sections of the bowl. This represents that it doesn't matter how complicated one thing looks, everything complex starts off with a simple sketch. The bowl is a symbol of Spain, and one of the great prides of Spain. At this time, Spain is under a totalitarian government. Picasso made the bull, the symbol of Spain, seem frail and weak, ultimately depicting the Spanish government. Picasso thinks the details of the bull as unnecessary because he is referring to the Spanish government's semblance of horror and tyranny as unnecessary. The government only uses terror to rule the people, but once the people see through this terror, they view the government as a frail and weak outline. Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. This is PBS.